Hello, hello. Kenny Evans here. Got another car video. And the topic of this video is how to handle negative situations when approaching women. But before I get started here on this video, for those who are new, hit the subscribe button. And if you just want to support, hit the like button. As well as for those who are um, a little bit more veteran or have been ar around for a little while but still haven't hit the subscribe button, uh, you could hit the subscribe button as well. And if, of course, for you, you could hit the like button if you just want to support, if you'd like the videos. So I appreciate that. Now let's get into this. How to handle negative uh, situations when approaching women. This is obviously a very important topic because, you know, not all uh, approaches with women go smooth. Some are a little bit more uh, negative than others. Hopefully, if you are um, doing things right, that is going to be a very rare occurrence to have negative situations with women, you know, so, but, you know, they do happen and you have to know how to uh, deal with them, you know, um, especially if you really are interested in a girl, there's a way to deal with them without having to self sacrifice your self-respect, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm going to talk about here. And, uh, you know, because we always want to be able to give it our best effort when it comes to our approaching women and getting the women we want. Of course, that is all within reason. You're not going to sacrifice your self-respect. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, here we are. And now we can start the list. And of course... The first thing you gotta always keep in mind is not to take the approach or the girl too seriously. Because of course, as you know, you don't know this girl. You don't know her from a hole in the wall. You know, so whatever she may do or say, just, of course, unless if she's violent with you. If she's violent, cut it off, leave. You know, don't even deal with her. But other than that, you know, don't take it too seriously. You know what I mean? Because she doesn't know you, you don't know her, and she has no real um, standing in your life, and you have no standing in hers. So you just got to be willing to uh, let her go. You know what I mean? Um or at least uh, not really see whatever the negative situation as a negative situation and uh, just move forward with the interaction. You know, but that also brings me to the point number two. You have to uh, assume any negative thing that is said or done is a joke. So when you assume any negative thing that is said or done as a joke, then you could come back at her. You assume she's just being friendly. That's she's just a, a funny person, or she uh, she's trying to be funny. You know what I mean? You just kind of assume it's just she's playing with you. You know what I mean? She's just joking around, bantering. You know, so that way uh, again you don't take it too seriously. And you just have fun, you're relaxed. You just assume, again, she also likes you. So it's like, yeah, she's just playing with me. I know she wants me. You know what I mean? And it's just, it's just the interaction is just more light, more fun. Um, and it is more carefree, you know? But, um, of course, again, you got to know your limit. If she feel like she went too far, then, you know, there's an issue there. But you got to do what you got to do. 
Um, but for the most part, you want to always assume it's a joke, the negative situation, a negative thing that was said or done. But of course, after that, you want to always lead the interaction in the direction you want it to go. That is crucial. Uh, so if she's talking about stuff you don't want to talk about, move forward. You know, um, if she is uh, asking you things that you don't want to answer, move forward. Don't answer. Ignore it. You know, um, if you just want to get her number and leave, get her number and leave. You know, so don't let her lead the interaction. You got to be a man and you got to lead the interaction. As you lead the interaction, then you are able to, um, you know, have a little bit more control as opposed to her, of course, having the control and you not knowing what she's going to say. And even though still when you're leading the interaction, you still don't know 100 percent, but you have an idea because the interaction is going in the direction you want it to go in the direction you want it to go. You know, so. You just got to lead the interaction, you know, and make sure that, um, I apologize for that. <laughs> I love crazy, but yeah, make sure everything is good and it's, uh, it's going according to your plan, you know, so that's all you got to do. Woo. But then. The next thing you could do is correct her when she is wrong. And if she continues to do that negative thing, leave. I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but ultimately, um, you have to be able to correct her when she's done something that you don't like that is negative. And if she does it again, leave. So I think that's pretty easy there. But um, after that, <sighs> you have to ignore what she's done, the negative things. Act like, again, she's joking. Assume it's, it's nothing that serious. Or, and, or, come up with a slightly negative, less negative, come back. Because whenever you come up with a slightly less, neg less negative comeback, again, you kind of are playing around with her. You're being more friendly. You're not taking what she said too serious because if you come up with a more negative comeback you're taking whatever she's saying more more serious and then the whole interaction is gonna go downhill from there because if you are taking what she's saying too serious then you are following her lead and she is leading the interaction so you have to make sure you take whatever she's saying slightly less serious so that way you could come up with a slightly less uh, serious comeback or you can, again, assume she is just joking and playing around, you know? So that is a definitely a crucial, crucial tip there because that will keep you in the driver's seat you know, during the interaction, you know? So it's a very important tip. But of course, I, I totally forgot you know, you want to always subscribe, hit the notification button, you know, notification button is very important. So you're notified whenever I make uh, other videos, but, um, <laughs> I know this is kind of going out a lot of, a lot of places right now, but ultimately that's all you got to do when it comes to, um, handling, uh, negative situations when dealing with women. When approaching women, of course, it is all very simple. You know, you just have to be able to uh, keep your cool. 
They want you to keep your cool. You're in the driver's seat. And when she knows she can't uh, affect you by the negative things she's saying or doing, she's going to gain respect for you. She may not like you. She still may not like you, but she'll gain respect for you. And of course, again, knowing when to leave is up to you. And um, I guess your own boundaries. You know, if you feel like you can't convert it or you feel like it was just over the line, you know, just got to go. But um, that's all I got for y'all here today. If you agree or disagree with what I say, let me know in the comment section. Um, again, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button. Uh, let me know what you agree or disagree with. Um, of course, let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. And really, uh, you know, if you find value in this video, you know, I appreciate all donations. I really do. Um, uh, but again, until next week, always remember. The strongest man is the happiest man.